So Rabbit Hole is a beautiful script and essentially deals with love, loss, hope and healing. Uh, it's it's a you know everyday slice of life story. Uh, my character is Nandini. I am a, a 60 year old matriarch of the family. I have two daughters. Uh, they're as different as chalk and cheese, uh, but I love them equally. Um, so the mother's character really is someone you know. I would describe her as a as a sturdy boat that has weathered many storms but has always managed to come ashore. But she's very headstrong, she has an opinion, she knows how things have to be done, and she tries to enforce it that very way. Um, daughters probably don't like it, but uh, in the end they understand that she has their best interest at heart. You know, she is really caring about their emotional well-being, and she wants to see them come out of anything that they're going through. Uh, what I think about the play, I think the play is very unique, uh, especially in today's modern theater, specifically American theater. It's very naturalistic in its style and scope of its themes and things like that. I think it presents something that can often be, which is you know the topic of grief and, and mourning of uh, you know specifically a loved one. I think is a topic that can you know kind of be put in a more morbid fashion than I think it really is, and it takes it and it makes it very human and very understandable, I think. I think that's one of the biggest things that the play really does and tackles, yeah. Rabbit Hole, even though is supposed to be fictional, couldn't have portrayed life more beautifully and been closer to the truth about a familiar life. Um, it weaves so beautifully uh, between grief and hope and innocence and witty humor. Um, as um, Ishika, which is the role I play, uh, I bring in the witty humor aspect to the play, I believe that. Um, Ishika is supposed to be um, a, a 30, 31 year old, very bubbly, larger than life personality, happy-go-lucky character uh, that um, looks at life from a lighter point of view and not um, get bogged down by the intensity that life throws at um, and one of the lines goes like this. Yeah, I got fired from Macy's, but it was all political. I don't want to talk about it. Um, talking about my character, um, uh, really, he's kind of a, it's, it's kind of a sad character because he's, he's really caught in the middle of everything. You know, he, he, he's this kid in the prime of his life about to, you know, go off to college and everything. And, uh, I don't want to say a victim of circumstance because I think a vic the word victim can be used for a lot of these characters in the play, or overused, I suppose. But he is really caught in the middle of everything, and he, you know everything that happened was was never intended, and he certainly feels a lot of guilt over what occurs or what occurred previously to the beginning of the play. Well, the beauty of David Lindsay Lambert's Rabbit Hole is it's a script. It's the simplicity of the script. Um, he presents all his characters, which are basically a family that's coping with grief, with utter candor and without the least bit of sentimentality. Um, in an era where you know uh, theater is so dramatized, uh, Rabbit Hole comes across as something that's very simple, and it uh, portrays um, it, it does a rich portrayal of his characters in very simple and poignant fashion. So people are always approaching uh, Deepika and telling her this is the right way to cope with grief. It could be her husband or a mother or something. But Deepika has her own way of coping with grief and her um, instant reaction to something that comes uh, that is uh, pre-approved or has been tried is always like, well, it pisses me off. Trying to find some ridiculous meaning in Hey look, I stepped in shit. Must be part of God's plan.